watching News 3, the Southern Illinois News Leader, live from WSIL-TV in high definition. News 3 starts right now. A skateboarder stops a robbery, the unusual way he became a hero. Plus, we learn the cause of this wild crash on Interstate 57. But first, new details about the murder indictment against this man after an SIU student's death. We do begin tonight with continuing coverage of the breaking news we brought to you last night at 10. An El Dorado man remains free on bond tonight after a grand jury indictment on two counts of first degree murder. Gage Bethune paid $100,000 bond and walked out of the Jackson County Jail earlier today. Now, according to these court documents, Bethune hit Praveen Varghese in the head multiple times, causing, quote, great bodily harm. A special prosecutor says blunt force trauma contributed to Varghese's 2014 death from hypothermia, which an initial autopsy listed as his cause of death. The Varghese family commissioned a second autopsy, which found blunt force trauma. The case landed in the hands of the special prosecutor who took the case to a grand jury, which late Thursday handed down the indictment against Bethune. Now, Gage Bethune has a court date next Tuesday for arraignment. If convicted on the murder charges, he could face up to 60 years in prison for each count. Family members of the Praven Varghese say the news of the indictment against Bethune answered many prayers. Praven's mother, Lovely, calls it the news she had waited years to hear. News 3's Evie Allen had an extended conversation with the family today and joins us with their reaction. Evie, does the family look forward to seeing this case go to court? Well, actually, Dennis, they do. Varghese told me that there were times when she questioned herself, why am I doing this? She says the indictment for murder affirmed her decision to make this a mission to get justice for Praveen. My only mission in my life right now is to get justice for my son, and I will make sure I get that. Words lovely Varghese told News 3 two years ago, after police found her son, Praveen Varghese, dead in the woods a year earlier. Thursday, Lovely learned a grand jury indicted Gage Bethune, the last person seen with Praveen, on two counts of first-degree murder. This answer, I wish it came early, but, you know, I, I can control it. This is probably how this was all planned out by the Lord. News 3 spoke to Lovely via FaceTime at her home in Chicago after she learned of the indictment. Our community and family have been coming in. This is... This is a day that we feel Praveen's voice is heard and his name is cleared. Lovely believes Bethune knows more than what he told authorities and that he has answers to what happened to her son that cold February 9, 2014. A year later, a grand jury found not enough evidence to charge Bethune for any crime. Later, the case landed in the hands of a special prosecutor. The best thing we had was getting a person, uh, a, a special prosecutor who was willing to look into every single detail, investigate this case thoroughly. Bethune's attorney, Mike Websick's statement reads, my deepest sympathies go out to the Varghese family. However, one cannot judge a case by sympathy or emotions. One has to look at the evidence in this case, and the evidence clearly shows that Gage did not murder Praveen. But the Varghese family wants a jury to make that decision. I'm happy we are here today and from here on, whatever the law permits, let it happen. My job is done. Now Lovely says no matter the outcome from here, she'll go along with whatever happens in the end. She says she also looks forward to finally seeing Bethune face to face for the first time. Evie, does she know when she's going to get a chance to do that? Well, actually she does. Bethune has a court appearance next Tuesday. Lovely says her family plans to travel here to witness it. All right. Thank you very much.